Alright guys, uh, what I want to do here, I want to take the, the coon that I had cooked and I'll put it away, I put it away in the fridge, I just kind of chunked it up a little bit. That's not all of it, my dad wanted, uh, my dad wanted uh, one of the uh, legs last night to snack on that, so I don't have as much as <clears throat> what it actually provided, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to make coon stew. Got me three big old onions, uh, about what six carrots and six potatoes, and that meat. And I've got in the pan over here. I'm making up some some uh, put some brown gravy mix. I know that's cheating, just the dry stuff, you know. But I'm not a super cook. I will learn to make gravy one day. But I got to thinking about that coon and how good a stew is on a fall or winter day. So I'm going to throw all these, uh, let's go ahead and throw all these onions in here. We'll let them start cooking. And we've also got our potatoes and carrots as well. I'm going to go ahead and start chopping all this stuff up. I like a big chunky stew, so it's going to be pretty big, uh, pretty big chunks. You know, I was talking to my dad last night. I asked him if Grandpa ever ate any coon or anything like that. And he said he really wasn't sure about that. My dad likes the coon. But it's not really, like I said in my video there earlier, it's not commonly practiced anymore. But my grandfather was an extremely, extremely poor old country boy. And Dad said he loved Grandpa just about better than anything. So, um... Uh, Kind of just one of those things that people used to do but don't do too much anymore. And if this stew turns out real good, I might just go get another coon. Alright guys, still uh, still loading up the pot here. Throw these carrots in. And then I will be cutting up my potatoes. And you know this, uh, this coon meat, I'm just going to throw it in there. It's, I've got it chunked up. I'll just throw that in there. That barbecue coon meat. Um, I'm thinking that I may need a few more. Just a few more carrots. I love, love carrots. Carrots are really good. And I've got peas. i got to get my peas in there. I don't know, this is starting to look pretty, pretty darn good to me. It's going to make a big old pot of stew. I don't know if my wife will want to eat any of that or not, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to dunk these peas in, juice and all. And we'll give it a stir, put a lid on it, and let it cook, and... Lord willing, later on tonight, we'll be taste testing this. I love stew. Love beef stew. Now, I told you I've never eaten possum before, but that may just be something I want to try. I don't know. Don't know. I think there's a lot of... I heard, I heard it's really good, but there's that, uh, you know, I guess that connotation with it that uh, where they, they do eat dead animals are kind of like God's cleanup crew that uh, that they're nasty but people ate them for years let's lid this up guys and we'll uh, we'll check on it a little bit later all right guys our stews uh, stews cooking right along here got a I'm gonna season it up a little bit. I got some. Got a. Uh, I'm gonna put some. Got some kosher salt. I'll throw that in there. A little garlic powder. A little ground mustard. And of course, you gotta have a little pepper. 
I'll mix all that up. We'll let it back off and uh, then we'll uh, let her cook a while. I think that's going to make a real good stew. Plenty of it too. Alright guys, we got uh, we got dinner on. Our coon's done. Uh, give it a taste test here. See how she turned out. Mm. Guys, that's delicious. That is absolutely delicious. I'm not a coon hunter. I'm not a coon hunter. I started a video series, you know, telling you about the survival aspect. One thing I'd strongly advise that you don't do. Don't do it with that cornbread. You gotta, you gotta have yourself some cornbread with a meal like this. Um, mm, that's country. That's country right there. Let me just show you guys a, a clip of my meal here. Survival or not, this is good. This is awesome. Check it out. Look at that. That's a bold stew. So, you know, might be from a different part of the country and I might be from a whole different line of thinking. Some of this is ingrained in me, you know. I mentioned my my grandfather, I uh, absolutely love groundhog. Now, I don't know, I think it's in my DNA. Anyway, either way, guys, this is good eating. And uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. You guys take care.